rundown of what's going on right here at hittingheartradio.com. And some of the shows that we're running every single day, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's the Wake Your Ass Up Morning Show with Core DJ LA playing a little bit of everything and especially that West Coast flavor, okay? Then you got the morning shit with Sayer. He comes in and does interviews, plays uh, a lot of great music, and of course, videos and news you can use, right? Then directly after that is the Method Lab from 2 to 4 with Gio and Larry. Followed by Fire in the Streets with OG, our music director. Make sure you check him out. Playing some of the best independent music from across the nation every single day, Monday through Friday, 4 to 6, right here on HittingHardRadio.com. Also, a lot of great stuff going on in the evening time between the hours of 6 and 9, Monday through Friday. So make sure you tune in for those shows as well. We have Caesar Studio with Way Back Wednesday show on the comfort zone and then every thursday thursday night is throwback thursday a lot of smooth grooves and a lot of funk and electro all that stuff kicks in starts right here 9 p.m to 11 every thursday night so don't go nowhere make sure you guys tune in and check them out and then obviously every friday it is hitting hard mix show with the pitch control djs bringing you all the flavor you can handle for your house parties. If you're not going out to the club, you want to tune in, all you got to do is listen to these dudes right here. About to get it in. Keep it locked right here at HittingHardRadio.com. Global clothing consumption has doubled in the last 15 years. We can change that. When we make better, we can buy better. And when we buy better, we can wear longer. When we wear longer, we can buy less. When we buy less, we can waste less. And when we waste less, we can change for good. What you doing still in bed, man? Yo, you need to punch in for that morning shift MKE with Sayer. Right here on HiddenHeartRadio.com exclusively from 10 to 2 p.m. Check it out, man. You're missing out. How did you get so good at that? You done? Yeah, um, I don't think I can do anymore. That's cool. Uh, do you mind if I finish myself off really fast? I'm super close. Oh yeah, knock yourself out. Okay. I'm not even kidding, man. I mean, that was... <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Welcome, welcome everybody to the show. Welcome to the Method Lab, to the M E T H O D Laboratory Facility. Yes, welcome to the Method Lab here on HiddenHeartRadio.com. Radio, you can watch. Ah, today is the day that we all wait for. The day that we put on our calendar to remind us weekly, monthly, yearly, bicentennially, uh, leap yearly. 
I don't know. I just cre- I just created I just created that one, Liberally. Um, yes, the date that you all been waiting for. It is Toxic Tuesday, the most holiest of days. They say that the Lord rested on a Sunday. No, he rested on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Also, I hear the club goes up on a Tuesday. But yet, ladies' night's on a Thursday. So, ha. Befuddlements and salutations to all. (laughs) Toxic Tuesday. Toxic Tuesday all day, every day. And what a day has it been today. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody that tunes in to the show on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, bicentennially, leap yearly <laughs> basis. We, some might some might say uh, I got a slurpee for a brain right now, but we're here and we're ready to do this shit. So. On that note, again, thank you for tuning in to the show. Uh, thank you to all the groups that listen to us on uh, on their platforms. Thank you for allowing us to uh, reach the masses of people that follow your asses. You like how I how I did that? How I did that is uh, years of practice. Almost two to be exact. Almost two to be exact. But. If you don't know what Toxic Tuesday is, it is the day where we uh, purge ourselves of our toxicities, our uh, inabilities, our, uh, our, uh, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> our, 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 according to Pitbull. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to catch, I'm trying to catch it. To catch that but the but the ghost is in the proton pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Join us in the messenger. Call text four one four five zero two nine four four seven. Uh, join us at Twitch. Shouts out to all of our Twitch listeners um, and our Facebook listeners. I we appreciate. Every single last one of you And those that listen to us later on in the day When you're enjoying A, a bowl ski Or a splifferoonie Or a nice uh, Cognac Or a whole whiskey Or maybe you're just uh, Low down and dirty and You're just like a cup full of gin And if you do we don't judge We accept you Come as you may As Batman says According to Team uh, Edward Right Team Edward Team Edward Edward, A.K.A. Bruce Wayne Yes Yes. Battinson Battinson Yes Yes Not to be confused with uh, What is it Jay Brett Or Jay Ben Ben Uh, Benifer Benifer No you you, Now that he's back with J-Lo You have to Add the Benifer You gotta add the the Benifiver Makes you shit (laughs) <laughs> so then he'll be El Befe El Befe El Befe El Bacaman El Bacaman Oh man Toxic Tuesday So what are we talking about today? Is there anything in specific we want to How was your evening by the way? You know How was uh When it rains it pours Yeah It really does You know It's funny I was on Facebook just last night, you know, checking on reels and stuff like that. I like to do the reels. Mm-hmm. And I came across an interesting thing that was tagged by Facebook. And it said that I had uh, been accused of spreading false information. Mm. Hmm. And I, I looked. You're Jezebel. I looked and I saw that uh, it was a video that I found on Facebook that was already posted. Mm-hmm. And I shared it mm-hmm. privately to myself. Mm-hmm. Meaning, no one else could see it but me. Mm-hmm. 
and they said I was spreading false, misleading information to myself. And they flagged me for it. Spreading false information to myself. Mm -hmm. The false information was the clipping of news videos mm -hmm. from actual anchors, live anchors, from 9-11. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that's interesting. And I clipped that video, as I normally do. And they flagged me for doing so. Now, I didn't make a reel out of it. I didn't share it to the public. I didn't post it to a group. The video was already up. It had already been shared. I shared it to myself, and then bang. And then they said, well, until this is resolved and the investigation is resolved, we will not allow you to make money off of reels because they're afraid that I will post it that way. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even have any intention of doing that. I was going to play it on here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest, why would I, why would I use something like that for real, when I know for a fact it's much better in this platform. That's topics, baby. You gonna flag me for sharing something to myself? Are you a fucking ass? A whole ass. And not a nice one either. So, of course, I had to appeal it. So, I am awaiting the process of appeal. But it's the goofiest shit, though. You know? You think, just when you think, you know, you do things the way they're supposed to be done, and then someone has to jump the curb, or something has to jump the curb, and just kick your legs right from under you just because they feel like it. It's got me a little perturbed. Don't let it perturb you, Larry. Don't let it perturb you. No. Uh, I'm perturbed. You're perturbed? I'm perturbed. Because this is how jokers get created. Mm. Mexican jokers. <laughs> <laughs> now, personally, I could start this off real crazy like, hell, I want to. But I can't. I can't do that. Because just like yesterday and today, these are two special days to me. Special days to my family. You see, to my family, I have two relatives. Okay. Both of which are a day apart. Both are Geminis, as you know, since they're born on days like today. And both just so happen to be my youngest uncles, mm -hmm. my mother's and my father's son. Now, I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday because we ran out of time. And I was a little dehydrated. He needs some milk. <laughs> Give the man some milk. But I definitely got to say it today. And on today of all days, because it's such a back-to-back -back thing. So I want to send a special happy birthday shout out to my Uncle Floyd Williams Jr. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. To my uncle Neil McCann Sr. Showing love to both. Yes. 
Thank you, gentlemen. Celebrate your birthdays in outstanding fashion. We'll see you after this, Floyd, for your birthday beatdown. <laughs> <laughs> I've always loved, had a lot of love for Floyd. Yeah. He's always the cool uncle. Always the cool uncle common. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my uncle Neil. I'm going to see you. What up, I'm Crash Santiago? <laughs> From the House of Freestyle. Did you just walk in? No, he's on the messenger. Oh, I was going to say, you looked over there. I was like, did he just phantom in here? <laughs> Won't you phantom in on me, Crash Santiago from the House of Freestyle? You have to say it all. <laughs> he I said, hey, hey, Abdullah. He <laughs> called you Abdullah. It's hot out here, man. <laughs> it's the Middle West. <laughs> oh, man. Gas is at all-time crisis. I'm like a Sunni out here, man. Gotta fight for my shit. We'll see if you can give me like a 15 cent discount on gas. Shit, I wish. I'm already trying to function and operate in the hashish market. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> I've, been, I've been driving these evenings and I've been down in the Illinois area. Let me tell you. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. What? Gas 567. Well, yeah. West Coast is seven to eight dollars. The fuck out of here! It's real fun. Fuck out of here! See, we think we got it bad. It's bad to us because we don't pay that much, mm-hmm. and for us to go up to like four, five dollars, that's like, hey, fuck that. Save Just a horse. Four dollars. It's like, man, fuck that, because our economy here is all kind of shady. Mm-hmm. We don't make enough to afford to live in here. You know, they say here on the South Side, uh, save a horse. Ride a wino, cause they're everywhere. Just give him a uh, fit the yak, <laughs> and he'll literally carry you on his shoulders. The fucked up thing is, if they bite you, you catch COVID <laughs> or rabies or rabies. Yes. Most times, you hope is rabies. Yes. COVID, nobody wants to touch you. They're no. like, you still get that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's pepper, my mixtape. They pepper spray you. And say, All right, here's my mixtape. Throw the mixtape at you. And you said on fire. What the fuck happens? Oh man. <laughs> You know, it just, it bothers me, man. It bothers me. Mm. Having your wings clipped. You know? Getting your legs kicked out of you. For having a sense of humor. You know, there's this passage in the Bible that says, we're not going to take it. No, we ain't going to take it. We're not going to take it after all. It must be the scripture twisted and sister. Yes. Yes. I like that one. It's in in between the Old and the New Testament. It's called the in-between testament. Mm. That's Mm. cool. Yes. You know, having a sense of humor can be dangerous. Yes, it can. It can be dangerous on many, many fronts. In some ways, some people consider having a dark sense of humor... Mm toxic oh really well then call me green have you ever like for example you're a married man have you ever formerly that's what i said you were a married man okay i thought you said you are are no no, no, i was gonna spit on you (laughs) i was there i know (laughs) (laughs) so as as being a former married man Mm -hmm. you were there have you ever had an experience where you laughed at something that your spouse made you feel like you shouldn't have. Her mother. No, I'm just... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, don't kid. <laughs> it's the truth. It's Hold on, let me, let me switch the camera. Remember, remember, this Hold is on. this is perfectly normal conversation. I don't. It's Toxic kid. Tuesday. Anytime at all. Like, was there a moment where there was something that happened and you laughed at it? Like, your your first reaction was to laugh. And she was like, ah, oh, like just dumbfounded. Like a moment of disappointment because you laughed at something that she felt like you shouldn't have laughed at. Hmm. Cause I know. Is I, there more? Is there a, such a thing as uh, 
frequently. I can't think of anytime. All, all the time. Anytime. All the time. Whatever time. Frequent. Often. Sporadically. All the, time. the one. The one time. The 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 whatever. All the time. All the time. All the time. You did this all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> can I say uh, I'm a sick twisted bastard <laughs> now personally I don't I don't really from feel the like, slums of Odell but see I don't feel like that makes a person toxic though no, I, <clears throat> I just say that that's what some people would consider toxic I don't feel like to consider I don't consider it toxic but some people do and I don't really. I'm I'm one of those guys that oppose that. I'm on that land. I'm just trying to see what spectrum you're yeah. sitting on to as well. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't really don't give. I don't really pay attention to people's uh, assessment of my humor. Really? Yeah. It's my humor. You don't find it funny? Go fuck yourself. Okay. So, at any moment. Let's just say, mm-hmm. let's just say, you're dating a girl. Mm-hmm. You love her to death. She's, she's, she's totally whatever you picture her to be. I would love to love amazing. her. Amazing. Let I'll even an I'll, inch from death. I'll even, <laughs> I'll even, I'll even put a, I'll even put a staple on it. Let's say, let's say Doja Cat two years ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. Five foot seven. Yes. What about her? Now. Yes, I will love her to an inch of her life. <laughs> okay. Now. You go by, you meet her family. Uh-huh. Okay? She shows you her sister. She's got a cleft lip. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Unless that's something you're going to laugh at as soon as you see her. I will. Wow. I'll make a kazoo sound. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're just going to go just <laughs> right out the gate. Right uh, the game. Now, calm down, Jack Sparrow. Let's just see. <laughs> now, if you did that right out the gate, and she was offended, uh-huh. would you feel bad? Who? The sister? That you laughed at her sister because she was she walked in all cleft lippy. Because she walked in with three lips. <laughs> you could just keep chuckling. But, but what if she got up like legit be upset with you? Uh-huh. You wouldn't you wouldn't feel like oh shit my bad like or would it just be something you're just gonna constantly just like buckle after? Uh, it's Doja Cat's fault for not warning me ahead of time. <laughs> what if she looks past that shit? She so, does. So, so the presentation. She does. So the presentation. You would laugh more so at the presentation. So 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 say, so say, <laughs> so say right say. Say, you've never met my brother, right? Okay. And I tell you, L, I'm going to introduce you to my brother, right? Mm -hmm. And in comes my brother, and he stroked Peter Griffin. Oh, God. Are you going to laugh at him? Well, no, because it's stroke Peter Griffin. That's that's a stroke. That's a stroke. Oh, you're looking out the window, and he's getting out of his car, (laughs) and he, he closes the door. On his arm. On his arm. <laughs> now, if he starts doing shit from Family Guy, then yes, I'm gonna fucking laugh. Okay, well Especially then it's the same thing. That. If I would have warned you, I was doing it. <laughs> if I would have warned you and said, "Hey, you know, my brother has a friend named Quagmire." <laughs> so wait, so so is it that the stroke makes you think of Family Guy when you when you think of stroke? No. Or is it just the fact that someone with the stroke and they're doing those fucking things yeah. just like that would make you laugh? Yeah. Okay. That That's legit. Yeah. Now, that's legitimate. That could get us in trouble. My grandmother had a stroke. Right. But that's what I'm saying. So, stuff like that could get us in trouble because we laugh at that. Yeah. Especially if somebody with a stroke closes their arm in the door and they drive off. And oh, you said that. <laughs> like, we're going to fucking roll. <laughs> we're going to laugh just because that's... That's, that's clip for clip. That's like, yeah. you never would think to see some shit like that. And you think the universe is fucking with you. Yeah. Obviously. Because you're there to see it. 
Shit like that does happen though sometimes. Not the arm in the doorway thing. That that that's rare. But. I'm not I'm not the public apology type of guy. I'm not Lizzo. I'm not gonna apologize oh, for apologize. saying spaz. She did. Wait, oh, what? I think we just got flecked. She no, apologized for saying spaz? Yeah. She used the word spaz in uh one of in her new single. And the uh, dis- disabled community uh heavily backlash heavy heavy backlash uh, heavy hate heavy hate 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 why because she used I, I don't know exactly what in what regard maybe for people that have uh, you know like spasms like you know Tourette's or something like that so she said she's about to spaz so out she, she, some shit she said something you know I don't listen to Lizzo you know what the f- you can't say spaz out. We've been saying that shit on plenty shit for the longest. It's supposed to be a derogatory term for medical condition and sh- I'm not but I'm not I'm never going to apologize. I'm I'm not that guy. I'm sorry. I'm not doing public apologies. Now if I offend so I, now, so now I can't say any of these spaz if you want to. Now. Now. If I truly am out of pocket and I offend somebody and they truly are sensitive and they truly are hurt. I'll apologize. You know, mm-hmm. I'll apologize. Will it be a genuine apology? It all depends on their reasoning why they got offended. If it's just some snowflake shit, some sens- sensitive shit that makes no fucking sense, then no, I'll take my apology back. But if it's somebody that truly is going through something and it truly affects them and it's truly genuine, you know, causes them a complex, and I'll apologize. You know, I don't want anybody feeling that way, especially if I use the wrong, you know, wrong word at the right time, you know. My thing is, when did that become a slur towards the disabled community? I don't know. I don't even want to take the time to think about it, to be honest with you. That's how much I don't like Lizzo. But I mean, goddamn, if that's the case, shit, what the fuck is offensive to them? Because I didn't know that. Yeah, man. So now if I, like, say, what, peg leg or anything, that's Ooh. fucking offensive? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, you watch yourself. So pirates are off the, off the table because they have peg legs. Mm, no, not pirates. People that have to use splints in their shoes. Oh, God. That's totally different. That's not a peg. Yeah. Have you seen somebody that uses splints in their shoes without their splints? <laughs> they walk like this. <laughs> Shut your ass. <laughs> See? How do you want to go about in life doing that, Larry? See, this that's Especially that Especially when you listen to Hidden Heart Radio and they play the wobble song. That's that bullshit. That is that bullshit right there. See? Wobbledy wobbledy. You know what? That's fucked up. And then you heard boom from the amplifier. That's fucked up. <laughs> you see, this, this, this is already a sign right here that this Tuesday is probably going to be probably one of the most offensive ones we've ever had. Yeah, I'm going to go there. I don't know. I'm tired. Mm. I'm ready. Nice. See, like when I be at Amazon, I'm just coming here like, bro. Ah, I'm to the goddamn <laughs> just come in and just... Because I, w- I would be literally... Teeter in between lucid. I feel good. I've been up since um, I'm gonna say ten yesterday. Say, lucid. I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. Had coffee. I had six cups of coffee with breakfast. Six cups of coffee. Yeah. Wow. Six cups. Yeah. I was waiting for uh, Duamel to show up, mm. so I had three cups before he got there, and I had two with my meal. And then one afterwards. Yes, yes. Yeah. I didn't get the jitters, though. But I'm awake. Uh, you had this Jim Carrey sense of uh, determination today. Yeah. And it, uh, came in sweaty hair. I was like, yep, he's caffeined out. Yeah. <laughs> but that's cool. Yes. Throw gentle lover out the window today. Oh, it's over. <laughs> You're getting raw dog without a bone today, man. Yes. This is this is gonna be one of those kind of shows. Catch me before eleven because I gotta go back to work. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, and we got to be or not to be tonight. 
shit. Here exclusively at hiddenheartradio.com. So Jesus effing Christ. Uh, someone's going through the wall. It's gonna be it's gonna be ugly today. Well, folks, I wanna examine dark sense of humor today. Okay. I do. Because You must have knew Eladio was tuned in. You must have knew. You must have rented his name. Yeah. Yeah. You rang. Yeah, that's yag. Yeah. The dark arts of that's dark humor. <laughs> this is a fucking warlock when totally. it comes to that shit. Totally yag. Totally yag. The yaggiest of the yags. <laughs> Yaggity yag. If that's the case, having a dark sense of humor is such a toxic fucking trait then I must be suffering from these ailments as my brother is as well. Because six cups of coffee is not enough to influence you to be a dark humorist. No. You have had to go through some shit, experience some shit, come out of that shit, and have seen the bright side or the silver lining of that shit enough to take that pain and turn it into something humorous that can help you climb over. At least that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. But apparently, we're sick motherfuckers if we laugh at someone who's disabled. We're sick human motherfuckers if we laugh at someone who's different sexually or religiously or biracially. And you know what? Usually, usually, Disabled people are the funniest people in the world. Oh, hell yeah. And they're usually the ones that have the darkest of humors. The very darkest. And they love when you include them in your banter. That's, you are so right. And that, that's, you just reminded me. I so the only that people that have too. a problem with it are the snowflakes. Yeah. And the Karens. Oh, yeah. And the soccer moms. Oh, you fucking soccer oh, And you decaf drinkers. Oh, God. You leftists and you rightists. You opportunists and you damn ego lobbyists. Manipulating everybody to fit your little agendas. <clears throat> Knowing good and damn well, you wouldn't know funny if it came up and kicked you right in your ding dong. Mm. I've actually seen uh, disabled comedians really go out on stage and rip it. Just kill an entire audience with their humor. And obliterate them. Why? Because they had the balls to go out there and take their pain and make it funny. Mm -hmm. And give the, the room a reason to laugh. That's power. It's not sick. Just because you don't want to laugh at it and find it funny, well, okay. You're still going through it. But let's be real. Refresh your list real quick. My list? Yeah, because it's, it's coming out incomplete on my end. It's coming out incomplete? Yeah. I'm missing uh, seven and eight. Seven and eight? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> But yeah, we had a, uh, okay, I don't see seven, but I do see eight. Let me put, okay. All right, yeah. I see where it is. But yeah. Anywho. Okay, seven and eight should be there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. I see people that sit there and talk about how it's insensitive. The snowflake shit, like you say. The ones that don't really quite have that moment of getting over whatever it is that they're so offended by. It's kind of bothersome. It really is. And you would think they would have found a way to kind of let that go. But they don't. They never do. 
instead they condemn other people around them for being so cavalier to even partake in laughing at something. It's, you know, it's understandable. Emotions get high, but I mean, seriously. Can we really speak for everybody else? Can we really? Can we really sit there and, and judge someone and say you're Im too immature to make a joke like that? Like we know? Like we're aware of what they've gone through or what they've experienced? Now I can understand when there's a moment where someone's being disingenuous and being overtly offensive, real clout chasing. Now that and it's got to be humor. Yeah, it's it has be to be humor. humor, not just fucking flinging insults. Just to be doing. Just to be saying stupid shit. Right. It's it, got to be a joke. There has to be a. Point there's a. Of there's laughter. nothing wrong with dark humor at somebody else's expense. Right. If you do it right. Now, if you just call somebody, you know, all types of words. Just to, just to break, them, break down, them down. Yeah. Then you're a fucking douchebag. And you should get popped in the face. And your mom should get peaky blinded. Or something. Step on a crack, break her back. I don't know. <laughs> something like in those, in those regards. In something in that regard. In yeah. that regard, yes. Because you're a dick. You're a dick. You're a dick. And that's just what it is. Now... At some point, you have to gauge yourself. Because a lot of times, people are hypocrites. Mm. They'll laugh at certain things that come at someone's expense. But when it's a little too close to home, then they get real sensitive. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm drawing a line. You've gone way too far with this. I don't like that. That's where I say stop. The buck stops here, goddammit. That's enough of that goddamn shit. You're hooting Holly. Right. That's when they shut down the whole goddamn party. But it was cool just a minute ago when the jokes were flying at other people. When, the, when it was fair range and nothing was touching you or getting anywhere near your feathers. But as soon as that little, little barb come by, Oh, shit, you get to squawking. And you squawk mighty loud. All right, that's enough of that, goddammit. You had to go there. That's bullshit. No, I never did that to you. <laughs> I think now, at this day and age, we have to gauge our humor. I do. I think every now and then, people have to test themselves. They have to put themselves in harm's way and see just exactly how far their humor has fallen or risen. How much it has evolved or devolved. Uh, Sometimes yes. you got to test yourself. Devolve, get the table. <laughs> it's a devolve, get the table. <laughs> Sometimes you do. You got to go out there and you got to test the waters and see exactly how fucking bad it's gotten or how good you have it as far as with your sense of humor. I, for one, I'm a person that likes to, uh, I like to actually like view funny videos mm -hmm. and kind of test and see those, uh, like the try not to laugh challenges and shit. Yeah. Shout out to the Twitch family there out there supporting. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Shout out to you, Twitch. You guys should be ashamed, Facebook. There's more people on Twitch yeah. than on Facebook. Yeah. And yeah, you guys right. have, oh, wait, they have the option to comment as well. Yeah, they do. Just don't comment racist shit. Yeah, don't do that. Because we will flag you and tell on you. Oh, man. We will tell Uncle Zuckerberg. Yeah, we'll actually, we'll actually scan your car, your IP address, and tell everybody where you live. Yes. Give your address out. So don't do racist shit. 
especially when we're talking about dark sense of humor. Yeah. Like, let, let's give it let's give it a chance to really breathe and fill itself out. Because really, this is not about you guys testing other people. This is about us testing you. Mm. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we know where our humor stands. We know we're twisted motherfuckers. We know this for a fact. Mm -hmm. We know we laugh at shit. And we also know that certain shit isn't funny. For example, in this next video clip, mm. there was a protest in DC. And someone decided that they was going to take advantage of this opportunity, especially in the current time that we're living in, to pull a move like this. Check this out. Here we go. Yo, today was a good day of activism. So I'm in DC, right? I go to the March for Our Lives. I'm a teacher. I'm like, yeah, we need that gun control. Cool. So I'm here and look what happens, bro. Look what freaking happens. So yeah, apparently someone yelled, there's a gun or gunshot or whatever they yelled. And then boom, people started running. You know, your boy was gone. I was like, hey, not me. <laughs> I was out of there. Nah, but then auntie came in on the mic. She said, everybody calm down. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. And sure enough, it was cool. It was just some weirdo who tried to scare everybody. He got picked up pretty quick by Popo and that's, that's what's up. Um, but no, everything was safe. Everything was cool. We went back to our thing. And a lot of great speakers. I was, I was, I enjoyed myself. So, some jerk off decides to go to a public rally for gun control, gun peace. Mm -hmm. Granted, not a lot of people are fans of those that do this because of the fact that really loose in their definition as far as what gun control really is. Just a bunch of people just yelling gun control and don't even know exactly how to control guns. So people will feel a certain type of way. But because they feel a certain type of way, they've decided to go to these rallies and yell out, Get the gun! Or I got a gun! And people start running. It's not hard for them to imagine something like this happening because shit, you get shot at Ariana Grande concert. And that motherfucker didn't even yell he had a gun. He just started shooting. Facts. The fact that someone would do that and purely just say it obviously they felt that this was some part of their grand design to be seen as humorous. So I gauge you. Is that funny? Hmm. Now in my mind, I know what my answer is. But for you people out there, the ones that are watching, is something like that funny to you? Leave it, leave it, leave your, your answer in the comment section. Or you can call the text right here. Mm. 504. I don't know why I keep forgetting the number. 504. 502 9447. I'm about to say 504, like we're from New Orleans or mm. some shit. I don't know why no limits on my mind. 504 boys. I want to listen to No Limit for some reason. The 504 it's boys. It's so fucking hot out somewhere. Yeah. It was really, really nice. It was beautiful coming in. I'm the driving North shirtless was today. Hot. I would drive shirtless. I would drive shirtless with this shit on and bottle water with the labels on. I just want a tan. <clears throat> That's all I want. This is a good day for cargo shorts and like climbing sand dunes. Mm. You're probably looking for buried treasure. Mm. This is the type of shit right here that you go save the world to. Like this type of heat. This is the type of shit like you go and find like. 
the lost treasure of a Nox on the moon mm. type shit. You know, right. fight moments to this shit. It's not even supposed to be this. This type of shit makes you believe in the ozone layer being gone. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky says you guys don't know hot. Oh, we know you in the fucking... Yeah, you're in the devil's anus. Devil's anus right there. He's right up there. Down. In the devil's polyp. Yep. <laughs> right yeah. there. And that shit went pop, 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 pop. Yep. Like stovetop popcorn. Hell yeah. Poop, 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 poop. They don't, they don't even got water in El Paso. They just nope. walk by and spit on each other. Yep. That's all you hear. That's it. That's it. In order for it to rain, Prince has to come by and play. And it's been a long time since it's rained in El Paso. Yeah. Play Purple Rain. Right. You'll be fine. <laughs> the rain will come. Right. It'll come. It'll come. Anything yeah. will come. It'll, <laughs> Everything will it'll come. It'll rain a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Everything will come. Well, that's all I'm playing. Um, now, for me, shit like that. It's says, dangerous. Even their part of the Rio Grande is dry. Oh, yeah. Now, who said that? Rick. Rick said that? Mm -hmm. Part of the Rio Grande is dry? Shit. Mm -hmm. i never been to the Rio Grande. I'd like to go. Mm -hmm. I would like to check that out. Mm -hmm. It looked like that would be like a beautiful setting to go see. My mom and dad took a swim in there once. Yeah? Yeah. And then I became a U.S. citizen. See? Now that's human. <laughs> <laughs> Those are facts. Those are facts. Now, that is taking something dark, making it humorous. But this numb nuts fuck stick did is taking something serious and made it worse. Because he didn't help his case. He didn't help them. He doesn't help gun owners. He doesn't help the fucking lobbyists at all. Damn sure don't help the NRA. Hell, he ain't help nobody. And he doesn't help the toy company that makes the blickies with the drum. Oh, yeah. It didn't help them either. Bro. Hell, if he would have pulled that out, it really would have got worse. But, you know, if you're someone who thought that was funny, Please, leave a comment in the comment section. Call, text, let us know. If you thought that was funny, or if you see the humor in that, please explain it to us. We would love to hear the humor in that that we failed to see. Maybe we provide examples of how it could have been better. Maybe he needed help from the guy who was rapping about putting a bullet in Bruton's brain. I don't know. Maybe they could have got together on that. Maybe he could have worked with Mark Rebellet and made a song out of it with his keyboard and his house coat and his drawers. And they could have got together and made a song. I got a gun, bitch. Mm, 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 and just fucking, you know? Who knows? But let us move on. Now, here in our next clip, we have a gentleman who comes to a fast food kind of dairy-ish ice cream. I want to say Baskin Robbins, but not quite. Mm. Dairy Queen. I would think so, but it's probably something different. One of those franchises, something new on the West Coast or whatever. Because in this area, you know, there's a lot of people out there, beautiful body, they work out a lot, so, you know, it's just a lot of, you know, hipster types. So here we have a couple who walks into one of these places exactly one minute from close. Mm. Literally 30 seconds before close. That's not a minute, but we'll go with it. <laughs> we'll go with it. Because that's what they say. Right. Or that's what the caption said when I saw it. But, while they came in, they were in back, back, back of a line. Now, 
what we have here is a moment where communication breaks down. Where a young man, 16 years old, sees the humor in what they did. Only thing is, when he found the humor in it and asked this man this rhetorical question, well, really, it was an honest question that humorally, humorically, you would kind of want to know the answer to. But the gentleman didn't find it funny at all. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, you guys. You went full Chewbacca right there. Uh, I did. And I enjoyed every second of it. Here we go. Millennium Falcon. Dickhead and do that okay. kind of shit to me. If we look and at the cameras, you service if we, to me. If we look at the cameras and you come in at eight thirty, what's gonna happen? I came in at eight twenty nine. You did not tell something. Our phones. I walked out listen, at eight thirty because listen, I'm making ice cream. Listen, I came out to finish you all the customers and you walked out. You we told you we were closed. We told you that you had us wait in line. We can't lock customers in. We physically can't. But we were all busy. There's, 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 all the way at there's, the end. A, there's a sign on the door that says exactly what time we open. Exactly we came at what time 829 You came at 8.30 on the dollar. So it's still like it's one place. It's one, one fucking minute. Everybody yeah, but we want to go home. That's fine. But this well, we can't, because if we let you in, we let everybody in. Day. We let you he in at 8.30 on the dock. My daughter, who is four years old, And you want to do this shit for them all fucking fucking all day? This is their first time meeting each other. You want to do this You guys recording us first. Like, this is crazy. You guys can leave, because we can call the cops if you want, honestly. All right. You want him? Are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared? You want him? 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 You already fucking offended me. Excuse you. You can leave, sir. We can really call the cops. You're going to threaten a kid? A He's minor. A, child. a minor. You're going to get fired. You're I'm gonna not going anywhere. You're going to get fired. You're not going anywhere. That's fine. What are your names? What would you do? Now, you notice... Just came out the gym, or at least he's looking like he's going to the gym. This man really wants the fucking ice cream. This must be cheat day. Mm. This must be cheat day. I want a rocky roll, and I want it now. <laughs> now, God damn it, there's only one minute. <laughs> I want it now. Put my blue chew pill in my ice cream. The base ice cream tastes good on the bottom. That's what I want. <laughs> I want the bottom corners. He wanted to scrape the bottom of the tub and put that shit on the cone and give it to him. Make it hot. He said he needs it. He's determined. And what was pissed off is the guy had his phone out like, it's like, you really going to deny me service? It's like, bro, what person comes in one minute before we close and they told you we were closed and you stayed? Ricky says, uh, should have gone to Leon's. That's a good bet, unless you're Mexican. Because we know <laughs> Leon don't like Mexicans <laughs> or Spanish speakers at that. Damn. Even though they're 75% of their business. <laughs> but who am I? Go look it up. <laughs> Leon doesn't like Mexicans? No. Spanish people at all? Huh? Leon don't like Spanish people at all? No, it's been known. In the community and everything. Yeah. Wow. But it's so good that the community won't, boy won't boycott them. They boycott for like a day. Wow. And then they're like, oh, but the banana split. It's so good. See, I haven't had Leon's in a long time. And I, I don't like, like Leon's. Leon's. You don't like Leon's? Mm -mm. I like Kits. I like Kits. kids. Over yeah, on the north side. Kits now is that's great. something good right there. Kits is amazing. I like Kits and I like Cops. But I like Cops because of the burgers cops. and fries. Cops, yeah. The burgers and fries. I love the ice Only. cream because the ice cream is great. It's a great day for cheat day when you go to cops. If you're somebody who works out. I'm not into flavored ice cream, though. It has to be vanilla. Mm. No, I like. I like I like a good Spumoni. Spumoni? Spumoni is uh, Italian ice cream. It has, like, pistachios and, oh, and yeah, uh, yeah, cherries. Yeah, that's, that's... I like a good Spumoni. I like... 
Brown. Kicks is what on North Avenue? No, Kits is on. Kits is on Fond du Lac. Fond du Lac. Ca- oh no, Capital. Is it Cap- Capital? I think it's Capital. Yeah. Kits Custard. Yeah. Capital. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yep, that's on Capital. Yeah. They got some pretty good ice cream. Though. That's my spot. And like I said, I like Kits and Cops. Cops and Kits. Shane O'Mac says Leon's is overrated. Golden Gyros and West Dallas is solid. Hmm. I haven't been to that one. I don't. I it, I've been. I've had their gyros. Their gyros are good. Have I Dallas? had their ice ice cream? I I probably have. I probably have. I probably have. Let me see. What else does Shane say? What's Dallas has changed? This, this is becoming a nice little spot to be at. Yeah, yeah. Good old Dallas. Yes. Yeah. Stylus. Shane says, not my hill to die on, but in reality, someone should have handled that ahead of time when they entered and acknowledged whether they could help them, which they should have have, they should have since they made the cut. Been there a bunch of times at the theater. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a grave. I, I go with uh, the saying, uh, the customer's always wrong. God damn it. If I want to go home and smoke a doobie, well, then I should doobie doobie do <laughs> just that and close on time because it's my prerogative. And chances are that the closing manager is either selling or matching. <laughs> and probably you ride home too. <laughs> no. Damn, someone blowing me up. Oh wait, that's not me. That's the station phone. <laughs> that's the station phone. Hold on, let me. Y'all out here giving booty calls to Jill? God damn it! I wish. God damn it! Give his drummer some. That's right. <laughs> look at that, and I said it, and then look, my drum was hit in. But dum. But dum. Aside from, of course, the where we stand on places that we would fuck with. Sunday wise mm. Back to The task at hand the, the guy Like we said This gentleman here Had such an issue With being denied service He was so Aggressively offended by the fact that these people, these teenagers, had the audacity to tell him and his girlfriend no. Mm. No. We don't want to serve you. We want to go home. Mm. They should have did what the what the age old <laughs> tale is. Sorry, sir. Our ice cream machine is down. It'd be hard to no tell fro yo for you, motherfucker. It'd be hard to tell that Dairy Queen and be like, "Yo, our machine down." Yeah. Then what the fuck you doing open, bitch? <laughs> you ain't got nothing. <laughs> we serve onion rings. Fuck your onion rings. <laughs> we want blizzards. <laughs> they will lose their shit if you went to a Basket Robbins and you said our freezer broke. They're gonna be like. We'll put that shit in a cup so I can slurp it. Yeah. Give me some ice cream. Oh, shit. It's fucked up. Our freezer locked and we ain't got no access to the ice cream. You want some milk? They gonna burn that <laughs> bitch down. We got milk? That's like going to Insomnia Cookie and you said our oven broke and the cookies are, uh, the cookies are gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, burn. They shoot the shit up. Mm-hmm. After a Bucks game. Right. We're doing the Bucks game. <laughs> They ain't even waiting to the fourth quarter end. They just going down there. You know what? Fuck this. Ka, 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 ka. Macadamia nuts my ass. All right. I want mint chocolate chip. <laughs> I do love insomnia cookies too. That's mm-hmm. another spot I'm starting. That's like third. Insomnia cookies? It's third to me. Mm. And it's really, it's slipping to third because of the fact it's just cookies and ice cream. It's, it's like a, man. So that's a third piece to me. Mm. And that's it's just there. That's only because Leon sucks. Yeah. But I could never see myself being 
this like upset, being this egregious, erroneous. I can't. I can. I understand these motherfuckers don't make much. Mm-hmm. I get it. So whose side are you on? Honestly, I'm on the side of the teenagers. Unfortunately, no. they're right for the wrong reasons, and this dude is wrong for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. To me, mm-hmm. like. Too much trapezoid? It is. Too much, yeah. He's wrong. He's wrong for his stance. He's wrong for coming at these kids like that, especially for trying to challenge the 16-year-old talking about, I'm going to wait for you outside. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you doing? For what? What you going to wait for him for? You going to break his back? That ain't the most yaggish shit I've ever heard. You gonna wait for him outside right. to do what? Right. For his dad to show up to right. pick him up? <laughs> to shoot your dumb ass? Right. To pull out the blicky with the drum? Cause you wanna fight this motherfucker cause he wouldn't serve you some pistachioed ice cream? To hit you in your quad with a Kia? You wanted a mint chocolate chip that bad you wanted to fold him up like a pretzel? You you had to you had to pin his legs behind his ear and break his clavicle. Because your ass couldn't get a Rocky Road Turtle Sunday. Oh, we got, I think the guy is calling. Let's see who is on the phone. Someone's calling? Yellow, can you hear us? Wait, we need some uh, headphones. Throw them on. Can you hear us? Yellow. Yep. Yellow. Yellow. Blink thrice. You're, you're tuned into the Method Lab. What's going on? Who are we speaking can you with? Hear me? Brianna? Yes, I can. Who am I speaking with? All right. This is Shane O'Mac. Shane O'Mac. Shane O'Mac. Let me put my headphones on oh, for this one. Oh, snap. What's going on, man? Uh, Let me put my headphones on for this one. Uh-oh, you're oh, going into that. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, it's shit. There you go. Ride the pony. <laughs> Ride the pony. Hey. <laughs> nah. You had some feedback for a little bit. What's I going had, on, I, man? The headphones were up too high. Shane O'Mac, Shane O'Mac, Shane O'Mac. Uh, I'm here for you guys. Yes. This was a hot topic. I, I had to pause everything so I could reach out and get involved because I got feelings on it. Yeah, well, hopefully that, that fucking cat that was in the tree falls. <laughs> <laughs> I missed out on the cat. <laughs> the goddamn cat? Yeah, because uh, he's a fucking superhero. <laughs> Shane you know, O'Mac. I, I gotta say, like, so I gotta say, like, I'm, I'm with Larry. I definitely would side with the teenagers. Mm. But, however, in general, you gotta lay the blame at the doorstep of whoever is in control of locking that door on time. Mm. That's what I was gonna because, say. Because, dude, business is business. If you are still open, you gotta serve them. You yeah. gotta help them. You gotta be. Yeah. It happens all the time. People slip in. I have experienced this in many areas that I've ever worked. I've worked in banking. I've worked in retail. I've worked in you no know, service. Mm-hmm. If people slip, you got to help them. And see, True. And see, and, and another thing, too, like, even if they came in and you said, yo, we're closed, mm-hmm. you know, you have to make sure you reiterate that. You can't just let them linger around until they get to the window and then say, dude, we're closed. If there was no door literally walking up to lock and be like i'm sorry we're done you right. know whatever i mean to stop them in their track if they already made it if they already gotten through the threshold if they got it in man they're in right you know yeah you now, just spit in their ice cream or <laughs> flick a booger in there <laughs> you teabag the pistachio <laughs> just give them like, get some warm ass melted ice cream for them <laughs> <laughs> well you know when i was in retail and i was closing manager and i didn't feel like uh Waiting to the last, you know, tick of the clock. I would close it half an hour early and go hide in the back. <laughs> and that's why I don't do I retail anymore. <laughs> first, and foremost, first and foremost, the literal doorstep of whoever's managing that place, whoever is in charge of locking up on time, or at least manning that. But then on the other hand, that dude really, like, like I think somebody referenced, that was, that was probably his cheat day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's me. I said it's a cheat day. No. And he really and broke that like a rope. I think it was that lady, his girlfriend, that mentioned about a four-year-old kid. Like, I don't think he's going to get sympathy points for the kid because they're not there. So you can't, you know, raise them up like, you know, right. like Simba and get them. 
Right. Look at this cute little f- man. Fuck that kid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I just think it's a very moment there where it's like, first and foremost, it's on whoever's there working. Mm-hmm. Secondly, you know, just I don't know. Like, there's not many things I always ask myself nowadays. It's not my hill to die on. Right. I know. And the fucked up part is that's probably a hill that a lot of people would die on. Oh yeah. Just for principle. Totally. Over a two scoop of fucking Rocky Road. Right. In a cup. Or Blue Moon Man. Blue Man Mist or it's something. It's not even a pint. It's a cup. Right. It's fucking just a cup. birthday cake ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> just a little stop on the way home. Just a cup. Yeah. And he was ready to punch a 16 year old kid to death. To death. <laughs> he was going to go real Battinson on him. This is gonna wait for him and shit. Dun, 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 dun. Just walk across the parking lot and just pummel this kid's face okay. in. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the guy at the gas station that said his girl has a fat ass, he didn't do shit to that guy. I guarantee you. That's usually what those trapezoid guys are. They're big and bad with kids and uh, elderly. The week this is gas stations. Right. Certified. Yeah. The biggest, like, Napoleon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Oh, those, that, that was, that's at least six hours of lat pull downs. <laughs> at least. <laughs> he looks like he's bi. Well, his sexual preference has nothing to do with it, Larry. Him being bi does not, has nothing to do. I don't give a damn about his sexual preference. I'm saying he's my height. Oh, you said your height. I thought you said he's bi. No, I said oh. he's, he's my height. My bad. <laughs> what the fuck are you listening to? All right. <laughs> hey, we're not that type of show. We're not. We love equally. We do. <laughs> but Jesus. <laughs> and no. Well, sign me up for checks I can't cash. Uh, <laughs> you still there, Shane? I'm still there, guys. I'm okay. still here. Okay. Sorry, you're coming in and out a little bit. <laughs> Or are you, you're coming in and out too, brother. Well, uh, we're in a tunnel. Well, <laughs> you guys perfectly. Oh man, we're you know we're hanging in there. We do what we do, especially when it comes yeah, to what you do. Tuesdays. We do do. The Before do-do. I, do you have any questions for me? Well, uh, so what far- color are your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> well. Time of day, usually about a hazel. You know, it's very nice. <laughs> and then, nice dark brown. Nice. Blend in. Nice. Real well, quick, Shane. Well, you wear it well. Real quick, Shane. Has there ever yeah. been a, has there ever been a situation? <laughs> he, said, he said, "Yeah." <laughs> has, there yeah. Ever, has there ever been a time where you laughed at something that was that that just caught you up? It was funny to you at first. But to the people around you, they kind of looked at you a little bit. It was just like, oh, wow, you, you, you kind of chuckled there. It was like a moment where you weren't supposed to laugh, but you laughed. It was your first instinct to laugh. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. It's oh. those ways. Uh, you guys hear me? Wait, say that again? You guys hear me? Uh-oh, you going in and out. Oh. No, we're losing no. the call. We're no. losing the call. Like there's like crap going on in the background for you hop, guys. Hop on the Wi-Fi. I am on the Wi-Fi. Oh, are you? Oh, okay. So there are we. we. Yeah. Do you have Spectrum? I like the- yeah, I got Spectrum. Ah, that's, that's why. why. That's you, why. You got Spectrum. Hey, we got Spectrum. So no one has Spectrum. Our shit is connected by tin cans and string. Yeah. Yeah. It's like crap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we can't hear you. God damn it. Call us back. Call us back. Call us back. I call think it's just the, bad connection. Call us on the coaxel. The coaxel. <laughs> coaxel. <Yes. laughs> give us a, give us a call it. back. That's, That's crazy. See? God damn that you, sucks. Spectrum. Oh, here he goes. See, Spectrum is toxic. Welcome. Who are we speaking with? Here we go. Here we go again. There All it right. is. A little better. better. Yeah, a little better. <laughs> to answer uh, Larry's question, this kind of goes way back. The one that really comes to mind is uh, 
So I used to work for KB Toys, and this was during, like, the holiday season. So we're going, like, 18, 18 years ago, maybe. Uh, good happened. old days. I yeah. remember the KB Toy Store yeah. days. Good old KB Toy Store days over at Southridge Mall. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah well. So we had a, a charitable thing going on, you know, something where, hey, you know, you want to buy, like, a toy and it'll be donated right away to, like, you know, Toys for Tots and stuff like that. And it was a very, like, people would check out and then we'd offer it. We have, like, you know, some cheap items, like, right behind us that we could offer for them to buy, you know, something five bucks, ten mm-hmm. bucks, you know, something nice for kids, obviously. Mm-hmm. And I had this couple that were checking out. And I offered you, I, you know, it's kind of one of those things, we got a line, we got to really get things moving. It's the holidays, man. People are buying toys, everybody's busy shopping. Mm-hmm. So I did the pitch. I'm like, hey, you know, we got toys and tops going on. Um, you know, we got some, you know, very affordable items. If you're able to, you know, do that, it'll be donated. And um, and one of them, you know, basically they're just shutting it down. And I'm like, oh, you know, that's, that's totally fine, you know. And they're like, what? I'm like, it, it's fine. As in, like, no big deal. Like, we can move on. You don't right. have to buy it. You've already said it. And they're like, I don't get it. They're like, I don't get it. And, I'm, and I just and I just turned around. I, I chuckled. I'm like, I don't get it either. It's, it's okay. You don't have to worry about it. You've already, you, you said no. You can move on. We're done. Right. <laughs> you know, like, and so I chuckled just like that. And then the, the dude starts flipping out. He's like, what do you mean it's okay? I'm like, what? <laughs> Real uncomfortable because I'm like, I don't get what just happened. I don't understand the interaction you just had. I, he, he said no to wanting to do this. It's fine. We can move on. Right. And me just adding in the chuckle afterwards, like, it was just like a thing that blew him up a little bit more. And his woman had to calm him down a bit. And it's just like, I'm still standing there like, I need to hurry up with this because I don't like this situation. I don't understand why he's getting sensitive about it. Mm. You thought he got hit with the, you think you're better than me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> must have been from Boston. Where to God. So, well, here's what happened further because we're not done just yet. Oh, sure. Essentially, was just walking by and he gets his attention. And he's like, Hey, this guy, you know, this guy, like, you know, is, is making light of something. And I looked at my assistant manager, I'm like, just ask if you wanted to buy a toy to donate. They said no, and I said, that's okay. And then you just didn't get it. So I'm trying to convey that without saying it in front of this dude to, like, piss him off even further. Mm-hmm. But essentially, my assistant manager called me, was like, I will reprimand him later. I never got reprimanded because he thought the dude was being a fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. Right. But of course, so that's the one that comes to my situation. It's yeah. so unbelievable. Mm. What? I guess he wanted to defuse the situation. Oh yeah, no, he did a great job. I, I learned a lot about like how to like you like you know I learned you know I learned how to kind of delegate better with people in that regard because I I don't know like it was something so simple at the time to me you know I'm a teenager so to me I didn't really understand why he was blowing up yeah and I still don't but I know now how to be aware and the nuanced details of, like, delegating the public better. Mm. And definitely a learning moment for me where it's like, I have no idea why this guy blew up. Luckily, it wasn't like, you know, it was the holiday season, so I doubt this guy's going to, I mean, I would hope that this guy wasn't going to go swinging at a at a 17-year-old kid at a toy store <laughs> behind the counter. No, because I would have got right. a call, and I would have went and beat the shit out of him. <clears throat> yeah. See, Would have gotten a hold of the geo. <laughs> see, you gotta understand, man. Obviously, obviously, I he can drives a Ford. See, no, because I can clearly see what was wrong with the guy. Yeah, he smoked meth. <laughs> he smoked meth, and he was looking for a tickle me Elmo to smoke more out of. Right. It was gonna do it right out of the part where he wiggles at. Yeah. It was gonna make a pipe right there. Just put a bowl of glass. Glass. <laughs> Just a glass rose. Yeah. You wanted to twitch on the ground. I'm sure I've had- sense but uh, that one stands out so that's a good question that was a good one mm. thank you thank, thank you. you ricky says i told yeah. a very dark kobe joke that i heard in my business class that didn't get the same reply that i had <laughs> you know what ricky <laughs> you know what there's one rule in fight club <laughs> you don't make kobe jokes you guys <laughs> I don't know if you guys are the primetime players over in WWE, Titus O'Neil, uh, Darren Young, and they for a while they had a manager named uh, Abraham Washington. You guys 
probably recall any of that I stuff, do. any of those details. I do, very, uh, so, very discreetly, just a little bit. Yeah, I do remember that. Abraham Washington was their mouthpiece, and they were together. He was with them for, like, maybe a few months, but he got fired over a Kobe <laughs> joke that he made on, on TV. Really? Wow. This was, like, yeah, this was, um, I want to say this happened... 10 years ago, like the summer of like 2012. So, uh, essentially, they, so he was doing this thing where the, you know, primetime players are having a tag match. And he's got like a live mic, like, uh, like a lapel mic, and it was live. So, you know, he's talking, he's, he's talking trash to the other team. He's typing up his voice, and the whole arena can hear him talk. So, on TV, we can hear the whole thing of what he's, what he's doing. Mm-hmm. So, he turns around and says, these guys are like Kobe Bryant in a hotel room at Col- in, a, you know, in Colorado. He's on unsta- they're unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Mamba mentality. <laughs> he used to say he was he was done. Yeah. He was done. He got let go of that. Why? Allegedly. Though? Why the fuck? Would allegedly. You, allegedly. You, 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 you fix everything with just by saying allegedly. You cannot. Yeah. You, and I know the show for kids are watching. They can jump up my brain. But in, yeah, in wrestling, was, uh, in wrestling, they have done they have done far worse. They have done far worse. Oh, they don't. But this is definitely during. I mean, look, WWE yeah. has been in a CG kind of you know environment right. of sorts where they're trying to be more. You know, they're trying to be global. They're trying to be public. They're trying to appeal to all sorts of demographics. Mm-hmm. That and, shit couldn't uh, fly. At the time, a huge no no. So it would be a huge no no nowadays. I oh, mean, yeah. good God. I mean, but that's a funny fucking joke, though. I'm not going to lie. That is a funny goddamn oh, joke. It's, it's, but, it's yeah, I mean, hilarious. I don't know if he should have lost the job over it. I mean, they could have just sent him to like sensitivity training and moved on and tell him, please don't do that again. Also, we're not giving you a life mic during the match. Right, mm. right. <laughs> Hey, Ricky, was that the joke you told? <laughs> no, he said it makes the matters worse. It was only two weeks after the tragic accident. Damn, you waited. Ooh. Oh, my God. You, you, Ooh. you're a brave soul. Yeah. The let Army us, taught you that. Let us know what the, <laughs> what the joke was. The, the Army put you up to that. <laughs> they made you brave to do that. They don't call Rick Guys, he's savage that way. It's mm. all good though. You never see Tom Cruise making a goddamn Kobe joke after he died. Nope. <laughs> he make a John Only Travolta being- joke, but never <laughs> <got him. laughs> Kobe Bryant joke. Oh man. <sighs> thanks for thanks for having me on for a minute. Just wanted to come on and add a little context to the uh, topic of uh, angry man goes to the ice cream parlor and uh, doesn't get. Way, but wants to beat people up. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Shane. Thanks, man. Shane O'Mac. Thank you, sir. Yeah, boys. Have a great rest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, 3000. Yes. <laughs> to the moon and back. <laughs> right in the oh. heart. Right in the heart. <laughs> Later, bro. Later, man. Uh, shit. That's incredible. Yeah. But yeah, man. People sometimes they, you know, a little anxious, mm. a little apprehensive. Now. Yeah, more oh, examples. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, <clears throat> folks, you wanna talk toxic? Really? You wanna talk toxic? You wanna talk funny or having a sense of humor? Let's look at this next video. Here we have a couple. Okay. Which seems to be coming to the end of their road. Mm. And apparently, this young lady has decided that this man needs to go. Mm. So she decided, since you want to be in the streets, since you belong in the streets, I'm going to drop your ass off in the streets. Mm. And he has to get out of her car with the little shit that he brought over. It's like a knapsack and some clothes and shit. Mm-hmm. He didn't have a PlayStation because he didn't get that far. Mm-hmm. Or Xbox. because. But something about this dude made her so angry that dropping his ass off in the streets where she felt he belongs was not enough. 
And she decided to take that anger out on him. And he thought that what she did next was hilarious. <laughs> With a capital hilario. <laughs> Check this That's out. Gag. Here we go. Now, the fucked up thing is that couple probably listens to this show on a regular. All right. And we salute you. Yeah. And obviously you can tell because they had pretty much a reenactment of Godfather by fighting in the street like that with the brownstones on. This woman was so pissed off. That dropping him off was not enough. She wanted to run him over with the car. Twice. She missed both times, didn't she? And then the fact of the matter is she got out the car and chased him as if it was his fault. Why didn't you just stay still like you were supposed to so I could splat your ass across this car, commit vehicular manslaughter, and drive away? Your bitch ass is supposed to die when I tell you to. You're not supposed to dodge and have my car hitting other people's buildings. You're not on my lease, Tyrone. Mm, you don't consider it asshole. Ricky says, hell has no fury like a woman scorn. Now, let me ask you this, Ricky. As someone watching this, would you find it funny? Being a spectator or a neighbor... And seeing this shit happening right on your right on your neighborhood. Mm. Even for you. Mm. Your neighbor. Let's say that's your house or your apartment building she just hit. Mm. You just come outside, you see this fucking Malibu with bricks all stacked up on the fucking hood. Mm. Cause this bitch plowed into the corner of a fucking lobby. Mm. And this fool, this goofy ass idiot, is out there antagonizing her ass. Saying, ah ha, ah ha, while he's getting scratched and choked, and he choking her mm. across the street. Would you find any of this funny? Hmm. Now, I can be honest with myself. Hmm. Yes. This type of shit, I laugh at. I laugh at because I know. They chose to do this together. They choose to love each other this hard that they're willing to kill each other <laughs> in broad daylight. That's not somebody trying to get away. 
these are two people who absolutely love each other so much it hurts. Mm. And that's why it's funny to me. Why? Because these are two miserable people that probably deserve all the hell they're putting themselves in. Now, what if? Okay. What if? She throw that bitch in reverse. And she pops his fucking skull like a fucking grape. Now, would you still find it funny? Hmm. That does depend. Hmm. If he is unaware Mm -hmm. and he's being cocky like he is on this video and he's dancing, doing the Dougie and everything Mm -hmm. and he's doing some type of dance or whatever and she pops that bitch in reverse and pops his ass, I'm going to laugh because of the fact that he was celebrating a little too goddamn early. Mm -hmm. And if NFL has taught us anything in sports, in ESPN... That you don't celebrate too early. Mm-hmm. You celebrate when the job is done. And I'm going to look at that, and I'm going to bring my phone out, and I'm going to highlight that bitch like Madden. Mm-hmm. And sell them, boom, you can't go fishing no more. <laughs> rattle, rattle. My first pot. initial reaction is going to be to laugh and then shock. Because you know you're going to hear that squawk. Mm-hmm. You're going to hear it. But it's the fact that you did all that shit. You're doing all this goofy shit to each other. You're running up on a car, punching in the glass, dancing on the hood, all in her window, shaking your crotch, talking about some, ah, you can't hit me, you will never get this, nah, 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 nah. Hmm. All right. And if she gets your ass, hey, that's kind of funny. You, you said she couldn't. <laughs> you had the best advantage. Light detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Especially if you and had then to Morgan get away. Freeman comes in, and that's when his brain went. But what if I told you they're still happily together? Probably so. Probably so. Probably so. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. over they're they're at kids right now, sharing a. Oh no, that, that type of couple went to fucking someplace cursed like Leon's. Mm. They didn't get served, but they were there. And they probably fought each other because they didn't get served. Right. <clears throat> now, folks, we've obviously determined what we find funny, not funny, offensive, not offensive. And we've engaged as far as what we feel our humor is. And it's fair to say there's a spectrum here. Let's crank things up a notch. Jill, we're going to put these people through the grinder. I want you to give them videos five all the way through to nine. Nine for five? No, no five. There's a six, seven, <clears throat> and nine. Oh, so five and eight didn't go through? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's do that. Six, seven, and nine. So, folks, it's time to gauge your humor. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be the Method Lab Laugh or Die Challenge. If any of you whatsoever happens to crack up within any of these, hell, as a matter of fact, I have a challenge for you too, Jill. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Jill actually can put the screen up and have us there. And we'll see Bam. just how twisted our humor can be. So... We'll take this challenge with you guys. And remember, if you laugh during any of this, any of this, we'll say we'll say it like this. We'll score you out once we get to the end. So I'm counting by laughters, okay? 
We're counting by laughter. So as many times as you chuckle. All right? So keep track of how many times you break. All right? I'm not going to be one of those people on YouTube or wherever that be like, you laugh, you die. Like, no. Let's, let's, be, let's be real. We're not going to go that far. It's a fun show. We're being entertaining. Let's yeah. have some fun with it. We might ruin your credit. Right. That's for, about it. For those of you that watch and you watch at a later time, you want to turn this into a drinking game, cool, do so. Just remember, don't drink and drive, all right? I'm not telling you to do that. But do this in the safety of your own home and with some friends that you trust, and you might have some fun with this. Okay, so we're going to keep track of how many times you break. If you don't break, you're a Stone Cold Killer. If you break at least once, we'll, we'll tell you what's, what, what it's like for you in the end. But we'll measure you up. And then we'll tally up how many times you break. And we'll see just how twisted your dark humor is, okay? You ready, G? Here. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, too. You ready, people? Let's fucking do this. All right. Game time. Who? Did you board this summer looking for fun? Well, come on down to the pool behind the bando. The home of ratchet chicks, abortions, and yeast infections. And chatty ass niggas. This is a BYOE. Bring your own everything. There will be a twerk competition. Smell at your own wrist. A performance by these guys, Trash INC. And throughout the day, it would smell like fish is frying, but it's just in the air. Let that sink in. So if you're free this summer with nothing to do, with no warrants, come on down to the pool behind the van. Sponsored by Church's Chicken by way of Woods Barbecue. We ain't swimming in. Oh, one adult, please. Hey, you can't see this movie. You're just a kid. Hold it. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That's one adult. Enjoy the film. You just show us cock. Wash your ass. Toilet paper is good, but water is a much better idea. Use water each and every time you wash your ass. A clean asshole is good for you, good for your well-being, good for your soul, and good for each and everybody who is coming into close proximity with your ass. Wash your ass every day. Make washing your ass an act of devotion and a gift to your body. Life is too short to walk this earth for a crusty asshole. So wash your ass. Daddy wanted anal sex. I got paid like 800 bucks. I made a lot of money off my pussy. 60,000 in a year. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. We're live in the birthplace of jazz. One time I ate my ex-girlfriend's ass and she fought it in my mouth and I swallowed a little bit. It was kind of like lemon pepper. I think she had ate some wings or something that day. And I swallowed a little bit. How y'all doing? I had a fight with a guy who stabbed him and he died and I didn't get in trouble for it. Nigga just confessed to a whole motherfucking murder out of here. You're watching quarter confessions. I fuck many girls. 25 girlfriends and I fuck them, doggy style. What do you like about that? The titties. Yeah, man. Oh, titties, you have the hot titties, the normal titties, and then the winter titties. We like summer and the spring titties. Appreciate it. Hey, friends, That's going to be somebody now. we know. The first three years, One day. I was always stressed out because every time he leaves the house, he's the most gorgeous man I've ever seen. And women just flock to him. He has a very charming personality. He could have a lot of women if he wants to. So it just, I used to always call him and nag him, and that was not good for our relationship. And it wasn't good for me to sit home and wonder what he's doing. So we both come up with this idea that if I get a marker out and sign his private parts and then take a picture of it, he can go enjoy his guy time and I can enjoy my evening and not stress. And then he comes home and he shows it to me, I look at the camera, and it has to match.
Oh, and the speaker could connect it to it. Get your pussy checked out. Get your pussy checked out. Magic Johnson calling his previous partners in 1991. That's that's wow. What's the route? That's a good one. What are you doing? What's the matter with you? Did he just kiss? What are you kissing for? What are you kissing my wife? That's your wife. Uh, who'd you think it was? I was saying, I thought that was like an actor or something, for real, for real. I didn't know that was somebody. <laughs> get, up, um, get up and take it back. <laughs> take it back, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's how Ricky gets, uh, he trains for his, uh, Aikido <laughs> Judo tournament. Just don't say it's love, I've heard this shit too much. Just don't say it's love, and don't say, don't say, don't say, don't say, don't say, don't say. Crash test, dumbass. Oh my god! Oh my god! Almost blew a funny fuse. Okay, good. We in we in public. You tripping? I ain't gonna lie, you blind. Let me get your number. Then. You got friends? She's trying to blow them. Me and my homeboy just moved out here. You got, let me get your number. I just wanted to be me. Tell you, man, these snowboys be acting crazy two, over two, a man. fucking prank. You, know, you gotta be a two, man. Choo-choo? Choo-choo. Shee! Just for pranks and shit? What the? See? Can I just take my hookah and head out? Look at her. She's shaking hope. That's what Abraham Lincoln died for. <laughs> I'm gonna be on you like black on Adam. Come on, On behalf of everyone at Delta Airlines, we want to thank you for paying attention. Now, we prepare for takeoff. Oh, 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 too soon. How can I be forgiven? I'm a prostitute. No child. You were a prostitute. I'm sorry. I will that always laugh at Jesus' you. humor. Oh no, Jesus! I think it's my pimp. I think he found me. <laughs> there you are. Man, it took me forever to find your ass. I've been looking all over for you. You know how many d named Mary there are been here? Now get your ass in that caravan. No. No, I'm not going with you, Galilee Roy. I'm in Galilee Roy. <laughs> what the flip is this? You watching this thing? Maybe. What? Well, I taught you that. I rescued you from a fishing village. I cleaned you up and got you out to work. And now this all you repaying me? You gotta get yourself another pimp? Hell no, brother. She's mine. I don't think you understand. <laughs> She's not going. Well, I can't afford to lose her. I already lost three <laughs> to leprosy, all right? All I got left <laughs> is Mary, a cripple, and two blind chicks who actually, you know, they, they get requested a lot. Don't ask me. 
how that works. Get out of here. I'm not going with you again, Leroy. I'm staying here with Jesus, and I'm warning you. Jesus has, like, 12 followers. Tell him. Oh, 12? Okay, all right, so this motherfucker is a serious pimp. No, my friend, you're confused. It's 12 men. Uh, you a gay pimp? I'm not a pimp. <laughs> I'm a carpenter. Carpenter? <laughs> then why does your house look like I've been busy with non-carpentry work. Okay, that's it. Pack your get in the caravan and make me some money. No, and I don't have any stuff to pack. Jesus says we don't need things. Is this all about money? Hell yeah, it's all about money, brother. I have a saying. Ooh. It goes like this. You're gonna love this. Shut up. It's. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> You gotta love the approach sometimes. My favorite one is the wheelchair one. I'm not gonna lie. That the fact that he wheeled her right into that pummel horse mm. and she just hit that thing and fell right out of the wheelchair. I mean, he slung her ass head first. That was eye level with her. She Took went her on the highway. Yeah. To the danger zone. There was a ramp. She hit the ramp and went straight down. Yeah. It was like bloop, ba doom, yeah. and done. You might as well have had like Goldberg spear right out of the goddamn chair. That would have been more, way more effective, way more. But still, I appreciate it. So, at the end of that, how many times did you chuckle? Not once. You liar. <laughs> you liar. Uh... <clears throat> now me, I chuckled a good five or six, seven times. Now, does that make me twisted? No. I could have laughed through that whole thing. Would that make me twisted? A little bit. A little bit. I'm not going to lie. Pummel horse wheelchair girl did make me crack up. I lost a little bit of consciousness there. <clears throat> Why? Because not every day you see some shit like that. And then you got to look at the setup. That setup is hilarious. All of you know good and goddamn well you bit the bait on that one. But it was well worth it. Should people be punished for that, though? For finding things like that funny? No. People shouldn't be punished for liking what they like. And that's why I said all that to say this. Even with today, with the serious debate that's going on now, especially on Toxic Tuesday, fellas, our humor is our humor. What we like is what we like. We cannot condemn each other for what it is that we find funny. Just like we can't condemn women for what they find attractive. If they like men in hoochie daddy shorts and the guys want to wear hoochie daddy shorts, let them wear their hoochie daddy shorts. Why? Because they got a goddamn anthem. Did you know that? No. You didn't know they have an anthem? No. Well, they do, G. And it's our next video. Oh, man. And this one, we're going to let it play us out. Because... I got something in my eye. You know what's in your eye? Mm. Your future, because it's bright. No. Oh. Well, damn sure it better not be Hoochie Daddy shorts, because you don't want that in your eye. No. Never. <clears throat> but for some of you watching out there, maybe you do. Mm. I'm looking at you, Rick. Mm. I'm looking at you. I know you got a pair of Hoochie Daddy shorts. You practice in keto. <laughs> you got the Steven Seagal print. Right. You probably got that throwing <laughs> that thing around. <laughs> throwing it to the people. <laughs> now, for all of you watching at home, remember this. Right after this, Fire in the Streets is coming on, and later on tonight, to be or not to be. So make sure that you are tuned in to the livest, craziest, most unpredictable, and obviously 
a sensible network with such a great sense of humor that it allowed us to play a wheelchair girl getting speared by a pummel horse mm. and laugh with it, at it with you. So tune in, enjoy this, enjoy the rest of your day. Be nice, be kind, don't judge each other. And as always, we wish you love, peace, hair grease, nappiness, and everything, all of that in between. Take care, folks. Enjoy. And much love. Yeah. Uh, let me show this video. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Fellas, we are now in Uchi Daddy season. Hoochie Shores, she call me a Hoochie Daddy, yeah, yeah. Hoochie Shores, she call me a Hoochie Daddy, yeah, yeah. Hoochie Shores, she call me a Hoochie Daddy, yeah, yeah. Hoochie Shores, she call me a Hoochie Daddy, yeah. yeah. I need a Hoochie Mama, Go. when they ain't with all the drum, yeah. she wear coochie colors of the romp. Yeah. Fuck a circle, throw it in a romp. Yeah. Button up with the donut with these shorts, three inches of blood and knees. Brother pushing 98 degrees. It's hot as fuck, I'm trying to show my knees. Tell her baby, come on over, please. I'm rubbing her thighs, I'm looking at her eyes. She liking my shorts, I got on my side. It's Hoochie Daddy season, bitch, I'm the prize. Sheesh. She look like a journalist checking for print. Don't get my attention, you ain't paying rent. She digging the steeds, the money is spent. She trying to pull a player off of the bench. Hoochie shorts, she call me a Hoochie Daddy, yeah, yeah. Hoochie shorts, she call me a Hoochie Daddy, yeah, yeah. Hoochie shorts, she call me a Hoochie Daddy, yeah, yeah. Hoochie shorts, she call me a Hoochie Daddy, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, baby, 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 please wake up. Oh my god, baby, please come back. Police. Officer. Paramedics and EMS are on the way. Oh my god. I have a 30-year-old male, unresponsive, oh no pulse. Come on, you have to breathe, come on. I can do CPR. Okay, okay, so. I need you to tell me what happened. We were hooking up. Come on, I'm not gonna lose you. He was fine, everything was fine. And then come he, on. Uh, he asked me to sit on his face. And then you said, I'm not gonna do that, babe, because I'm kind of scared and I don't actually want to sit on your face and hurt you. No, no, I, I did. Sure, but you didn't actually sit on his face. You just kind of like hovered there, right? No. I really sat on his face. So you didn't just like hover there? You. You actually sat down. Yeah, I, I sat on his face, full force, full weight, everything. Come on, save him. Yeah, nothing to do here. He's dead. What? I mean, that's awesome. EMS, what's his status? Paramedics. Hey, Jim, girlfriend actually sat on his face. Yeah, nothing I can do. What? Homeboy got snailed. Ma'am, you have to bring him back. You are a queen. You mean you guys are not going to try to revive him? We don't need to. So I'm a cop second, but I'm a guy first. And that goes against bro code, because any guy would love to have a woman kill him by sitting on his face. You guys are the fucking worst. This is amazing. I should be arrested. I murdered my soulmate. No one's going to charge you with anything. You two are soulmates for sure. What the fuck? You two are inextricably linked. Death by snooze, man. Oh my god. Coroner's office. Yes, coroner. She actually sat on his face. She didn't even hover. I mean, she sat down. Is that really what happened? Yes, all the way. Like his face was a seat. You think this is some kind of joke? Ma'am, I apologize for these clowns. Yes, thank you. Oh my god. We should be thanking you. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are a queen. So the death certificate will say death by poos. By poos. Men are terrible. Looks like beauty <laughs> did kill the beast. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. He's great. He's fine. He's alive. He just woke up. Well, just go sit on him again. That was involuntary nerve reflex. He's dead. You guys are horrible at your job. Mm -hmm. He's dead. Oh my god. Sit down. I am not letting you die this way. You are not that cool. I'm going to bring him to the city morgue, but after that, um, we're going to have a Viking funeral for him. No, he's not having a Viking funeral. We're going to celebrate his life. Men are disgusting. Mostly how he died. Grief counselor and trauma response specialist. Uh, Ma'am, are you okay? Oh my god, a grief counselor. This guy, Mr. Professional. Come with me. Thank you. Oh my god, you guys are terrible at your jobs. What's the PSI on that thing? Yo, can you do me a favor? A favor. So I kind of told my girlfriend that I was like, you know, at the park with my fat cousin, you know, because he's on a diet and everything. Trying to lose. I no, got no, no, no. so I'm scared. Saying, like, I was going to ask you if you could make a video with me, you know, maybe running, losing weight a little bit. Just so I can send it to her. So she doesn't come over here. Cool? I got you. I got you. Right. Look, babe. Just running with my cousin. Yo, hurry up, fat ass.
know what's really going on in these streets, tune in every weekday from 4 to 6 here on HiddenHeartRadio.com. OG Gotti with the fire in the streets. It's hot. Trust me. Tune in.